Welcome back to the program. I've got an excellent vinyl finds uh, planned out for you here. I'm excited to share with you what I got uh, in the past week and what I've been listening to. Um, I've got some Lost Punk gems. I've got some extra sweet Power Pop. If you like a little extra sugar in your Power Pop, you're going to love this band that I'm going to show. And then I got a ripping new single from Australia that I, I can't wait to show you. But uh, before we get into that, um, let, me, let me take this uh, single off here. Uh, this is uh, the Anemic Boyfriend's Fake ID from 1981. It got reissued last year, so you can pick up a copy uh, pretty cheap. But this is an original on Red Sweater Records. Very cool. And, uh, yeah, they're from Alaska. I think it's safe to say the best uh, band to ever come out of Alaska right here. You, and you heard it here, man. But uh, before we get into the vinyl finds, uh, I actually got some tapes. Uh, I got a few tapes. This first one, uh, I was hoping there was a, 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 a wax version of it out there, but uh, a vinyl version, but there's, there wasn't. It's only on tape, but uh, it's a band from Byron Bay, Australia called Cupid and the Stupids. How awesome is that? It's a great name. And uh, this, is, this is an excellent tape, man. Uh, it's super lo-fi, snotty punk. There's like tinges of the Velvet Underground in there. The song Burn the Mattress, I think, is my favorite. And uh, also, I think on this tape is the best recorded version of the song Lowrider ever. <laughs> it's, it's whacked out, uh, a whacked out punk version of it. It's really cool. And I love when, when tapes and records and stuff come with extras. And this came with like, I think this is the coolest extra I've ever gotten uh, with, a, with a release was, uh, it's like a little bag of candy hearts that have uh, Cupid and the Stupids on, like the name of the band and the album title, which is uh, 99 Ways to Fix a Broken Heart. I, I thought that's really cool. So check it out, man. If you can't find the tape or you don't have a tape deck, you can listen to it on, uh, on YouTube. It's all up there. And uh, it's, it's really fun. Total fun. And uh, the other tape I got was uh, Vom. Uh, I have Live at Surf City, that EP, which I love. Man, when I, when I first got that record, I played it to no end. But uh, this was cool because it's got that on it, but it's got a bunch of live stuff and songs I'd never heard. So uh, I think that's pretty cool. It's called Vom Spews On. <laughs> But uh, let's get into the vinyl finds, man. Let's get into it. We started off with the Anemic Boyfriends, and that's not a vinyl find, but it reminds me of the first band I'm going to show you. So let me, uh, let me cue it up, and then we'll, then we'll talk about it a little bit. Yeah, we're going to have some fun today, man. Thanks for coming back to the channel. Love hanging out, talking records with you guys. Uh, this band is from uh, Chuck Berry's uh, old home, St. Lou, baby. Uh, St. Louis, man. It's a band called The Welders. Our Own Oddities, a nice little collection from 1977 to 1981, a ripping all-female uh, punk band. And the first song on this record we're going to play is my favorite. It's called Pervert, and it's, it's the best track on this, hands down. But uh, yeah, check it out, dude. The Welders from St. Louis, uh, the song Pervert. Yeah, check this, man. Nice like trifold. Excellent. 
You're a low down road. and bondage. I've run out cast and changed my image. Great kind of new wavy uh, uh, style stuff, really fun. I, I think I opened one of my shows uh, a couple weeks ago with this uh, Merry Monday single, Pop Go. And uh, uh, I gave my punk jacket to the uh, Oh, I also brought out, you know what it really reminded me of? Was uh, that song by the Maggots called uh, Tammy Wynette. And uh, it's on, I don't have the single of that, but I do have, uh, I have it on Killed by Death Volume 5. This is a really good Killed by Death. The cracked actor, the kids are on this, Hubble Bubble, yeah, the Stalin, Black Easter, great stuff. But yeah, check out the, the song, uh, Let's Get Tammy Wynette by The Magnets. Really cool. And uh, this song is good, but it's, some of the, the vocals are like, oh man. Let's listen to, uh, I'll give you a, a taste of another track here. Yeah, this is good. This is where uh, I got that kind of Nicky and the Corvette feel, you know? And then there's like some live stuff. The first five songs on this are 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 great. Uh, Pervert, Debutantes, and Bondage. SOS Now is really funny too because it's like you know they're talking about being prudes. Like it's cool to be prude. You know they're tired of the raunchy rudeness. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. This is Baby Don't Go. Another guy is the next song that's really good. And the rest of the stuff is 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 good. There's some live stuff where I'm like, eh, you know. It's, it's okay, but uh, the first song on side two, Taurus Trap, is, is really good too. Kind of more of a new wavy direction. Yeah, really cool. Some great early all female punk from St. Louis, man. Dig Yeah, so that's The Welders, man. And uh, it came on a couple different versions. I think there's like a blue one. I just got the regular. Bring in the black one there. But yeah, there it is. Our own oddity, 77 to 81, the welders. A lot of fun. So uh, the next one I'm going to show you, we're going, we're going back to Australia, man. Uh, and I just continue to keep finding these great bands from there. And uh, I love this single. I can't wait to play it. It's going to be really cool. Check it out, man. I'm going to cue it up, and then we'll, uh, then we'll talk about it. Uh, the song is called Death Rattle, and it's by a... A band called Dennis Cometti. Here it is, and it's this is funny because uh, I, on the last Doctor and the Kid live stream, and by the way, this Saturday coming up, the Saturday coming up, Doctor and the Kid are back, man. So get hyped and get there, man. Be somebody. Come say hello to Doctor and the Kid, man. We're gonna be hanging out, raging for like five or six hours. It's gonna be a blast, man. This is a uh, Dennis Cometti death rattle, and uh, I showed this on the stream. Uh, I think I got it that day, and. Uh, my friend Chili Gaz over there in Australia, Australia, he commented, he goes, dude, uh, Dennis Cometti is a, uh, he was like a, a football player over there and like a, a sports commentator. I had no idea. <laughs> I thought it was just the guy's name in the band, you know, and uh, I think that's pretty funny. I, I just thought it was his name. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm buying these Australian records and uh, I'm also learning a little bit about the culture as we go. So it's kind of fun, you know. 
Dude, this is excellent driving punk rock, man. Check it out. You're going to love it. Dennis Cometti, Death Rattle. And then I'll show you uh, some stuff I brought out. I've been listening. short song but uh, as soon as I heard it it reminded me of uh, this other single I'll show you yeah this song is called limiter it uh it totally the b-side totally reminds me of uh, the colored balls what you make up your mind sportscaster and football player, but I think even a better band. <laughs> uh, this popped up, I don't know how I heard, this popped up somewhere, I can't remember how I heard them uh, originally, but uh, I went back and I was checking out some of their other stuff, and uh, <laughs> they have a video for the song called Wax It, and uh, it's on their first record, I gotta find that record, because it's, it's so good, the song was so good, but if I ever come across it, I'll get it. Oh, I had this out too, I, uh, this single reminded me of, uh, of the Welders a little bit, a band called Dangerous Girls. The song, I Don't Want to Eat with the Family. They got mixed in here somewhere. Yeah, great, great old punk single. But uh, Okay, now we're going to move on to uh, some super sweet power pop, man. 
this is a, a really cool record. Uh, I had these, uh, this band's singles in my want list for a long time, but uh, I just haven't come across them at, a, at a, uh, a reasonable price. But now I got them all in this collection, which is really cool. Uh, let's see. Let me cue up the song I want to hear, want to play. Make sure we're on the right track. Put them on the right speed would help. Okay, uh, so this one uh, from England, The Fans. You Don't Live Here Anymore. It's a nice little compilation out on Radiation Records. This slays, man. This is really cool, uh, really sweet power pop. Um, I'll show you some of the records I brought out uh, when I was listening to it. But uh, yeah, it's a collection of their singles. And you know, like the Welders compilation, it's, um, it's got some live stuff on it, but the live stuff is recorded really well. I actually like it a lot. Um, and uh, some demos, some demo stuff, so which, is, which is really cool to have all on one, on one thing. Yeah, the first uh, three tracks are from 79, they're seven inch, and then uh, the tracks four and five are the uh, seven inch from 1980. But I'm gonna play you the song of uh, what the comp is called, You Don't Live Here Anymore. To me, hands down, the best song on the record. Totally infectious. Great vocals and awesome guitar. There's great guitar throughout all this record, and it's, it's really fun. But uh, yeah, check it out. The fans, you don't live here anymore. taste of what, uh, what the fans sound like. And uh, oh, I also brought out um, a bunch of the uh, Power Pearls compilations. These are great, man. If you can find these, you, like, you want to get into some cool power pop. I only have uh, volume one, four, and seven, I think. Yeah, seven. Great stuff. Great compilation. Another band, I, I hadn't thought about these guys in a while, but some of these songs reminded me of, uh, it's this band called Blotto, and uh, the B-side of this EP is hilarious. 
It's like, it's like sweet power pop. It, the whole record is goofy. It's like, you know, kind of a big goof. But uh, the song, uh, the third song on it, My Baby's the Star of a Driver's Ed Movie, <laughs> is an excellent song. It's really funny. And it, it's really good. It's a good tune. And uh, High School Honey is a lot of fun, too. And uh, it also made me want to uh, break out all my Rubenews records here. Yeah. Great power pop, man. I want to be your boyfriend. Great stuff, man. Yeah. Break out the skinny ties. Break out the blazers like the fish, man. Oh, uh, I found online, uh, speaking of these like power pop compilations, uh, there's a uh, bunch of comps going around a long time ago called uh, Teen Line, I think that's a shiver song, and uh, I found all eight uh, versions on a cassette, and I got all eight, and uh, I can't wait to dive into those, I'm waiting for them to come in the mail. But, uh, Great stuff. Giving me that look in your eyes. Yeah. Dig it, man. For all the power poppers out there, man. I love the little color scheme. Man. These guys don't look really popping, though, do they? <laughs> but they do. They play well. live here anymore. A really, uh, a really fun little uh, compilation of the band, and uh, I'm happy to have it, man, because uh, those singles are getting pricey, you know. But yeah, even the live stuff on this is cool. The demos, that you know, uh, some of you might like the demos even, even better, because it's, it's not as stripped down, but it's, it's not as polished as what I played. It's a, got a little gruff to it, not too much, though, but it's fun. Uh, so the last one I'm going to show you is uh, a band called The Moderns. I should have brought out the other Moderns. Uh, there's another band called The Moderns. Let me get it, because it's not them. <laughs> it's a different Moderns. I didn't know there were two. So you've got two different Moderns. One more modern than the other. This is the other one. This is the one I'm going to show you here, the moderns. Uh, when she gets back. But uh, not this one. This one's good, though. Uh, what's the uh, what's the song? I've got to have pop. That's a good one. Um, yeah, so it's funny. Like, this one, I, I listened to it, and I really liked the two songs on the B side more than I liked uh, the A side. The A side is like a power pop tune. And, uh, and it's great, but... I, I dug the, you know, the punkier power pop stuff on the B-side more. So all the records I brought out uh, to show, like, that I was thinking of while listening to it are more punky. And, uh, you know, this morning I was just, you know, bopping around the house, and uh, I played the single, and, I'm, and the A-side, I'm like, wow, this is great. I should play this on the show, because it's just excellent. I'll play a little bit of it, and then we'll, I'll give you a little taste of the B-side, too. But this is the moderns, When She Gets Back. <laughs> Uh, there's two songs on the B-side, Escape Velocity 
and a song called Run. And uh, they're really fun. Cheers, everybody, be good. 